Hey everybody, this is Erica Williams from the Classy Climb blog. You can reach me at Erica S. Williams on Twitter. You can reach me at www.classyscl.com. Today's uh, video is about business and life requires contact slash uncomfortable growth. Uh, the reason I put that in there is because there's no way you can start a business. There's no way you can go throughout life and one, not get your feelings hurt, two, not experience failure, and three, not grow. I mean, it, it, it just is what life requires. Um, and since I've lived in uh, Central Texas, Austin, Texas here, I see a lot of people who are dressing like the 80s and, and, and living a life, even though in their, near their 40s, that would tell you this person's stuck. This person refuses to grow. This person refuses to let go of old notions that don't work anymore for them, uh, clothes that don't work for their body type anymore, ideals that don't work for their business. And so it's interesting to um, talk with other business owners, be around others who are so, uh, who are experiencing massive success in life. Because somewhere along the way, it took massive action to get there. And that's the part of the story I love hearing. And it just, business and life requires contact with other people and growth. And I know a lot of people love the shut-in economy, the article that was written. But at the end of the day, those same people, they can order products to their house every single day. But at some point, they have to get out of their house and go live in the world, go to work, or interact with people on a daily basis. Uh, it's unfortunate that people would rather lock themselves in their house and play video games all day instead of live with people. But that's the point. They rather have animals, animals and video games, than deal with people. Well, I say animals, Netflix, and, and dogs, than deal with people and that people can be disappointing and that life is not a basket of roses. And so when I meet those people, it's always very, very interesting to me how they got there. Yes, someone hurt them, but instead of doing the adult thing by putting their adult pants on it and pushing through the feelings of hurt and upset and disappointment, they just got stagnant. They just gave up. They just quit, quit trying. Uh, same thing, I have a person I know who drives trucks and he made great money driving trucks, great money. So many times over that he's been able to buy a lot of things, great vacations, and at the time we go, why don't you buy some extra trucks and rent them out and lease them out. Well, no, I don't want to manage people. I don't want to deal with people. And this is in North Carolina where lots of people want trucking jobs. And so eventually he did. He did buy an extra truck or two. And then he got hurt. He hurt his back. And so he couldn't drive. So it was like the, the life had forced this change on him where he had no choice but to turn right or left. Now, he could have been like many people and just kind of gave up. But instead, he pushed through. Uh, many people know that I'm from a military town and I meet people all the time who, you know, in their twenties in the military town, it's a fun time. They go out all the time. It's new people meeting new people all the time. It's a great party and you may work as a waitress or a server and not really take yourself serious. And you may take a few business classes and you don't. And, and it's fine. That's your twenties. You just left high school. You're in a military town. It's a transitional town. It's a lot of service jobs. Fine. Well, when I see those people at 30 to 35, still partying, go <laughs> living in life, meeting new people, and and doing things that make military people call townies, townies for a reason, that's when I'm sad. Because they never hit a point where life required growth. When multiple friends went on and, and, and went on in the military and went on with their life and traveled duty stations and bought houses and had kids, you decide to stay behind in your town and not grow. Now, don't get me twisted. You can stay in a military town and grow. You can grow businesses. You can do whatever. You can have work. You can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, I know people to this day when I owned my coffee shop back in North Carolina were like, man, she can't do that. There's no way she can do that. And these same losers are guys who re-enlist and re-enlist till the, till the government just goes, well, yeah, we're not going to take you again. And they never got real skills along the way because they refused to grow in their life. So there's many ways that people are hitting growth points that hurt and then they just refuse to leave it. Uh, there are some jobs I just won't work again and I won't go back and ask that person no matter how nice they are for the job again. And people go, why are you doing that? You should just go work back there again. No, there's some points in life where this was a growth moment for you to grow and move on. And some people refuse to grow and move on so they keep hitting a loop. And so in some aspects, uh, hitting a loop is important. And for me, learning what that loop was about 
and taking the next steps in growing my business and my life and designing the rest of my 30s the way I want them to look um, is so important. Uh, I plan a lot of trips to go places and last year they a lot of them fell through. So when I talk about trips now, people are like, yeah, whatever, Erica. And I laugh because I go, you know what? That's them succumbing to their limits on their life. They don't plan any trips. They don't go anywhere. They just work, 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 work and stop by church. And so that's their decision. But when you are disappointed by stuff you didn't get to do or different goals you set and you didn't finish, that should be your encouragement the next year to fulfill those goals, to reach those dreams, to go, I'm going to go do this any means necessary. It's going to happen, period. No questions asked. And so and that's where, I mean, pain growths and uh, hitting things. Uh, another thing about contact you cannot escape contact in life or in business. The people go to work every day with people they hate and they don't know how to function with it or deal with it or just accept that this is an environment they may need to leave because it's toxic. Um, and that's important for you to think about because there's so many books on how to deal with those situations, yet people fail to pick up those books. They fail to go to those seminars. They fail to go to those meetings and get out of the chicken coop is what I call it. It's where people are in a chicken coop and everybody's picking on the ground instead of being eagles who fly in the sky and go, I got enough of this, I'm out of here. And sometimes people just stay in that box for years and years and years. Um, there's some of that is fear. They're afraid to go to the next level. They're afraid to go, well, if I leave my job, then I leave all these friends. Well, then they were never really your friends. They were your work friends. And when I first started hearing people talk about work friends, I never understood that until I started leaving some professional companies where I would go back and I would call persons and they would be, Oh, yeah, I'm busy, busy at work. Like, you left their little organized area, and so playpen area, and so now you don't exist. And so for me, I always tell people, that's that's not real uh, friendship. That's not real life. That's not something I want to be a part of. Uh, but we have to put timelines on our life. Now, I'm not saying run out there and get married or get a boyfriend or girlfriend, because that's a whole other set of challenges and constant contact with a person who's going to call you out on your crap. And I feel like a lot of people say all oh, these divorces are happening because of money. I don't think they're happening because of money. I think they're happening because people are having to be accountable to somebody in their life. And they can't just frivolously spend money when they've told them, this is my goal for us to have a healthy, safe, long uh, marriage and retirement. But your actions are not lining up. And I think that is what causes divorces. Someone calling you out on that and someone requiring you to grow as a person. I see couples all the time where woman's change, man change, or someone went to school and now their outlook on life has changed. So now the marriage has changed or they've had kids. And so now the things they used to do for fun and run up bills and debt and credit cards is not no longer fun because there's children in the mix and the wife is now concerned about longevity of their money and being homeless, you know? So with life, it requires you to grow. And so sometimes we have to leave friendships and leave towns and leave cities and move because we're limiting our growth. Um, there's always a saying, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. You should be somewhere where people are pushing you to grow and encouraging you. There's always some really good people in your life who will love you, love on you, encourage you, and help you no matter what, and keep track of those people. They may not always be family, they may be friends, and you should keep those people. Uh, I think as we get older, sometimes it's easier to get kind of sucked back in towards the family aspect and just kind of lower our standard for where we could go in life, uh, and which is sad. So with business, remember, you're going to interact with people because you need to sell, sell, sell. You need to create systems that uh, grow your business. Even if it's online, you still have to interact with people. If people call for customer service, any of those issues, you still have to interact with people. In life, it will require you to have contact with people. Uh, I meet people who want to have boyfriends, want to have husbands, but yet won't leave their house. That's weird. Where's this man coming from? Is he a UPS delivery driver? Is he coming to your door? That's crazy. So uh, just get ready for those bumps in life and get ready to grow because that's what it needs and requires to be an adult or to live life, period. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching this video. To totally subscribe to the channel. This is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. You can reach me at Erica S. Williams on Twitter. You guys have a great day.